Hello, hi, I am Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk to you about these energies that we're in, which are going to be very uh, heavy and dense for some people. And it has a lot to do with the retrogrades we've been going through. We just started Pluto, Saturn, we're still finishing up Venus. And for twin flames, some of this goes beyond what uh, some of the astrologers might have to say about it. Because along with this retrograde energy, we are collapsing a lot of the parts of the mental level of this. That's going to equal mental confusion, mental scatter. That's going to affect people. That will especially affect the masculine side, the old electric masculine and feminine, where increasingly you may become confused and you may start to doubt. And if you're doubting, you might send those doubts over to your twin or you may be picking up doubts from your twin. And it's important to catch these things. Not everyone has the level of discernment that they should. However, that being said, what this is going to be, the Pluto brings out a lot of the twisted, distorted, abusive, some of the really dark stuff. And some people are seeing it. Now, some of you have already lived through it. This is going to be sort of cleaning up the rest of it, just cleaning up the residue. For some of you, you are starting in earnest on this, and it's not pretty. So if this is fairly new to you, and you've been seeing some things that you would rather not have in the person you love or in your union, pay attention to this. There are people that consider themselves old hands at some of this, and that's fine. That's fine and dandy. You're probably about to be in your union or actually in your union, and that's fabulous. However, it has come to my awareness that this is fairly recent for some people. They've only found out what this is maybe six months ago, a year ago, and they've been searching for some answers. Well, I do have some of the answers for you. And the other thing about Saturn is bringing order to the chaos. Now, a lot of people assume that this means globally. It actually doesn't. It means bringing order and sensibilities to your own union, to yourselves, first and foremost. This has to be about you and you and your twin, first and foremost. Because if you don't, you're really no good for anyone else, are you? You have to be good for each other. I hear a lot of you saying to me, oh, but Patricia, I've worked on myself a lot. I'm a lot nicer. This goes beyond that. You share several subtle bodies. So it's a little bit different than just saying, well, you know, I hope his ego goes away or I hope her ego goes away. This is beyond ego. This is um, the psyche, which is one of your subtle bodies, and that doesn't necessarily equal psychology, which will try to explain things in a mental way. And sometimes we've needed those explanations or we've needed those diagnoses or people have needed medication. However, if your twin is taking meds or if they're self-medicating and you can feel the density and the darkness and, or you have people telling you, ooh, your twin is dark, what utter baloney, BS is what I say. Your twin is not that. You both are the light and the love. So what will come out? It will be the bad, uh, sorry, it will be the good. So you will have some good things come of it, but it's going to be the bad and it will be the ugly or the ugliest things. That's what that means, ugliest. Along with the high 4D ideals from the mind. You know, this is sometimes leading to judgments for people like, ooh, if you're not eating a certain way, then oh, that's a deal killer. We can't be together. But who thought of that? The mind and you know maybe certain people have needed to eat a certain way however unconditional love means there's no conditions no limits you're not limited 
and your twin isn't limited and mostly your union isn't limited. So all of this will be purging out. You're going to experiencing a heightening of the senses and a lot of people are already feeling this. They are having sensations in their knees like feeling like a spike has been driven through their knees. They're feeling sensations here or here, solar plexus, around the eyes, ears, mouth, especially these areas where all of your sensory connections with each other are. The kissing parts, the parts where you can really use your senses to tell what things are. So you're going to have a heightening of the senses beyond earth, which does throw people off. People will sometimes say, where'd they come from? Or is it friendly? Or is it trying to get me? And how you're going to know is through the heart. If you don't clear away the things of the mind that may be telling you, ooh, that's out to get you, or love doesn't spy on you, love isn't out to get you, deceive you, trick you, take advantage of you, take your money and run, that's not the love we're talking about here. Do people help their twin? Yes. But if you're helping and helping and helping and giving, throwing your twin a bone or they're throwing you a bone, you're actually not empowering each other. And so the heightening of the senses is what helps you navigate a lot of this. You are also throwing away all root experiences from the outer cosmic places. And this is going to be things like ethnic pain bodies. So what I have to tell you about, where is it here? Okay, if you have something, and I've used this illustration in one of my other videos, you have a twin who keeps trying to plant down roots again with something else. Take a look here. How long are those roots? And how long is the stem? I mean, sometimes they're about equal, but the roots here are actually longer. This is new spring growth. Unfortunately, this little tree was in a crack and it probably wouldn't survive. So I yanked it out and I'm going to replant it. However, this is being used for an illustration here. Some people have deeply, deeply rooted themselves. It could be with traditions or they keep trying to root themselves and start a family, you know, make a life with someone else. They are quite literally trying to take your sacred energy from your sexual areas and reproductive areas and plant down roots elsewhere. Okay. And what do you do about that? Well, I want to let you know that this is not completely just a primal survival instinct. Now we're at the higher level of this, okay? The high 4D ideals of, well, there's many people you can make a home with. No, there's not. There's one. There's your twin. That's who you're making a home with. Well, we have children together. Yes, and those children will be cared for best by the angelic divine parents being with each other. Mama Bear says so. <laughs> so when I'm saying this, what I want to let you know is that along with this deep, dark Pluto energy retrograde, you're going to see some of the bad, like what, you know, it might not be past life experiences. It might be things that throw you off and say, oh my God, I've seen the worst I think I can see right now. How do you recover from that? How do you clear it? How do you get your own sacred energy back? How do you do this? And furthermore, how do you clear it away from here, away from the crown? Now, in several of these, I do have um, the being in the new life where I talk about how to clear. In my last video, I recommended the angelic light body in transition because how you clear it is in four different zones of your body. And the um, solar plexus was the area to address. Being in the new life. And I want to show you something of what I've been observing. As we've gone through these retrogrades, we've had energies from around different places 
that energies from different places where this is long ago far away damage of say ethnic pain bodies so you have people from for example a few months ago it had to do a lot with what was formerly called Eastern Bloc countries and they were lifting the Iron Curtain away from them the energetic Iron Curtain of the mind and the psyche of what's been damaged there now when you have other people another group of people who have been harmed you have the triangle trade here okay we're taking people from this area of the world we're bringing them here we're bringing them here we're bringing them here and we've kidnapped them we've enslaved them and now they're here they've got to throw out this all of this pain and disease caused so it's beyond uncomfortable this is this is some deep stuff people now you have another area here okay lately what I've had have been people from especially northern Europe okay why because these are some of the first landing areas from the angelics and you have this area which is um, the UK Ireland Scotland parts of northern Europe as well you have people from the United States and you've got Australia and this actually is another triangle of energy that is being dissipated and how have people coped with this well there's a lot of drinking and addiction if things happen to your people maybe you'd want to drink and numb it out or maybe you'd want to self-medicate and numb it out but now comes your union how do you get these um, coping mechanisms and addictions you know maybe being overly sexual with people maybe watching stuff maybe taking things in so because it is a process that goes through several of your body's systems because your body systems are connected to your subtle bodies there's no mistaking it you know so this is this is both deep and it's outer but how what can you do from the human level so I highly recommend my webinar called being in the new life and there will be descriptions on the links surrender into full union this is going to have a lot on how to clear the crown and you need that you need to clear the radar you need to have good heart communication that's why the communication falls off the rails people your twin stops texting you or emailing you or phoning you or something like that there's a reason for it the reason isn't the ego the reason isn't always to give them space the reason is for true heart communication because where you are going you have to rely on your heart you have to have it not flavored by the mind or by the ego that is the real reason how do you get good at it please try my exercises surrender into full union because surrender is knowing when to allow and when to do by being who you are it doesn't mean laying there like a jellyfish or a doormat and just letting something steamroll you that's not what sur true surrender is also if you are having going through things for your senses and you want to know about this my webinar called the sensual lover has quite a bit of information and it in here I talk about your other angelic senses that will be very important for you and why um, senses about time etc so all of this is very relevant to now with this retrograde energy that we is enabling you to wrap things up finish up refine it and get your things done or to you know get out of the situation you're in so thank you so much for watching I just want to let you know I do sessions yes I do one-on-one -on -one sessions over Skype Google chats occasionally Facebook 
and um, I do have another platform as well. I do chats if you need to ask some questions, if you just have some simple, you know, we need to check in and ask, ask some questions or check on something, contact me. I have a calendar with a schedule on my website that lets you know what would be available in your time zone. It does the time conversion. Okay. And yes, I am a I am a Blu-ray. What that means is I'm one of the originals. However, as a Blu-ray, I have been tasked with prototyping, the templating, teaching. I teach about the new light body. So this is going beyond some of the twin flame stuff. It's more than just reading people. I'm able to read people's bodies and where they need help. Because I started with this. When I was 19, I did massage on people. Very familiar with the body. And that led to other things. Along with my life experience and the things that I've lived through, which I pack into here. So there's a lot of great information in here. It's formatted very concisely with some to do things. How do you do it by being who you are? How do you get familiar with your light body? And this is twin flame specific, unlike some other research you might find where it's just vaguely called energies. Energy is love. So this is very twin flame specific. Now, I am also starting an in person live cosmic subtle body reconnection and chakra class here in Chicago. So information is on my website about that. If you live in Chicago, if you're coming to Chicago, let me know. I can let you know what the schedule is. It's going to be on there. I'm actually still putting it on there, but it'll be on there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Check these out because they're, they are really going to be helpful for you right now. I'm all about people being in love. That is my main thing. If this couple is in love and that couple is in love and that couple is in love, what a wonderful world. And even more than that, what about when we start going out of body? And there are people already together who are beginning to have these experiences. And I'm happy to be privileged and honored to know that they've taken time to reach out and let me know this. It's been fabulous to talk to each and every one of you. Thank you to the people who joined my webinars, the uh, live groups. I really appreciate you joining. It's been some lively, great conversation. People feel supported. So if you would like something like that or you would just like to listen or these are available 24-7 for you to do at your own pace. Check it out. It's here to help. So as a teacher, I really like to have successful students, but the most success is when people graduate and they're already being who they are. So thanks so much for watching. Bye now.